Hey guys, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Fearless. Adobe had some kind of contract dispute with Pantone Color Company, so now not only are they charging a subscription fee for their products, they're also adding a $15 a month subscription fee just to use Pantone colors. And some people are reporting that in some of their old files, the Pantone colors went black. As of right now, thank goodness Affinity is not charging anything for Pantone colors. And of course, we don't have subscription fees, so that's great. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get to your Pantone colors, how to use them, and I'm going to do it in Photo, Designer, and Publisher. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to get to Pantones very quickly in Photo, in Designer, and in Publisher. And what I'm doing is I'm starting out opening Publisher. You do not have to do this, but I'm using Studio Link, which is free if you own all three. And I think it's great. But I'll show you, you just open each program separately if you only have one. So it works the same way. So in Publisher, I'm going to just say New. I'm just going to hit a, a letter and say OK. Most of my tutorials are in Photo, so I'll just go to Photo. So now this is exactly as if you opened up Photo by itself, so you don't need the other programs. So in Photo, let me just hit a rectangle. I try to keep it simple when I do my tutorials, so I use a rectangle a lot. And let's go to Colors, right up here. And if you need to find Pantone numbers, down below here are Swatches. So you click Swatches, and I have Pantone colors already, but most of the time you'll see recent colors when you start something, but I don't want to use recent. So I'm going to choose Pantone Color Bridge Coded. You choose whatever one your client wanted to use. They will give you the Pantone number and it'll tell you what book it's in. Now, the good thing is we can use Pantone colors. The bad thing is you can't do a search for the Pantone colors. You can on the desktop version, so I'm hoping that eventually you'll be able to do that on the iPad version. So it's kind of tough. You have to find the actual Pantone color. So let's say I'm going, they're asking me to use 186. I do know 186 is in the red tones. Instead of swatches, I'm going to quick click right here, and that switches me to actual Pantone numbers. I can go back and forth between swatches and numbers. So I, I need to find 186, and Pantone doesn't put them in number order. So it really is kind of difficult. But so I'll just keep sliding around until I see reds, and I know one of the reds is 186. And this really stinks the way I have to do this. I hate it. Let's see. I'm sure it's here. So I did, I did the desktop version, and all I had to do was type in 186. It was so easy. But this one is just a pain in the rear end to try and find this thing. Here it is. So there's Pantone 186. This is your 186. Now, the only other way I can solve this in the future for me is, let's say I go back to layers, and I want to rename that layer. I'm sure you have other ways of doing it, but this is the way I'm doing it here on the iPad, as opposed to the desktop where I don't have to worry about doing anything like this. So what I'll do now is hit the three dots. I'll rename this instead of rectangle. I'm just going to rename it 186C for coded and say OK. So now I'm going to lock that. So I'll hit the three dots here. I should have left that when, after I put the name, and I'll hit the lock. I can't change the color of that. I can't, I don't believe I can. Let me see, see. I see I can't change the color. I can't do anything different to it. So at least I know this is 186 if I ever have to make something else. So let's say I go like that and I want that to be 186. What I will do is this and it won't say 186, but still when you're printing it, it'll be that 186, or it should be anyway. I started out in Studio Link, so now if I click up here, I can go right to Designer. Designer, every single tool for Designer is there. Designer is exactly the same way. Swatches are on the bottom, just like we did before, and you can do it exactly the way, same way as you did in Photo. Go to Pantone right here. Under Swatches, you, t you have to go search. I hate that you have to search. 
But if you're in Studio Link and you jump from one to the other, it's already there. That's your recent color. It kept the colors from one app to the other, and that's why I love Studio Link. Now let's go to Publisher, and here's Publisher, and once again, same thing. So each one of them, you can go back to CMYK, you can go down to Swatches, and you can choose which Pantone you want. You could slide one at a time like this. I'm not crazy about doing it that way, but if you click in the middle, slide to whichever Pantone you want. I was using coded, and then you find your 186, you guys, or whatever other number. And like I said, this is ridiculous that you have to do this because in the desktop, right below this, right below here, right around here, there's a search box, and all I had to type in was a number. But sadly, I guess for some reason, they couldn't do it in the iPad version, and I'm hoping they do it in the future. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.